Y103, Classic Rock and Smoking Bow, and in the studio, Daniel Pecchio, John Safara, and on the phone is Phil Keggy, Glass Harp. How are you guys doing? How are we doing? Great, Smoke. And Phil, how come, uh, you know, you, you, Phil, you should be in the studio with us. Well, I know, I, I bet, you know, it's just, it's just not a hop, skip, and a jump. Like <laughs> <laughs> but we're glad we at least got you on the phone. So yeah, starting up, yeah. what, what have you guys been up to? Well, I know that Daniel and John have been busy practicing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I've been, I've been, uh... I've been doing a lot of listening. I, I, I've got to sit down and finish my woodshed, and I'm going to do that over the next couple of days. And uh, But I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes, and I'll just put the album on and listen to it and think that it really sinks in that way. Actually, I think we'll be okay with our, our performance coming up on Friday, Saturday. Right. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, well, we've all been uh, probably just busy doing our things, you know, until we, we gather together and do our performance. Yeah. We're excited about the new album coming out, though. Very excited. Well, you know, a lot of people have asked me about it, and I, I've heard it, and I've talked to John and Daniel about it, and, uh, you know, I've already got my favorites off of it. Really? And, in fact, we're, we're going to be playing some of that, too, by the way. Oh, great, great, great. What? I understand that the album is being shipped today. I talked to John Schroeder, guys, and he, they said CRT is shipping today the album, so that's good news. Yeah, we just got everything arranged uh, just about a half an hour ago, and it should be in our little mitts in about two days. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we'll have it with oh. us for the concert coming up this Saturday. Now, now, for those who don't know, the concert they're talking about is in Cleveland at Kane Park, and that's this mm -hmm. coming Saturday. Yeah, right. should be a, a great time, a, a wonderful venue. You know, I've, I've been up in Cleveland now for almost 30 years, and I had never been there, and when I went down to check it out, it, uh, the best way to describe it, it's like a mini Blossom Music Center. It's about a 2,500 seat total, 1,200 under uh, like a pavilion with seats, and then the other 1,200 are out on, on the lawn. And it's, it's one of the most beautiful, intimate layouts that, that I've seen, and it's just perfect for Glass Harp. Now, see, I didn't, when you said Kane Park, and I, I've, I've known about this for a while, I never thought it was like that. Yeah. It, it's it's going to be a great venue, and and everyone's really excited uh, up in Cleveland that we're playing there. A lot of great people have played there, and it's been around since the 30s. Uh, uh, um, people like, you know, the old Dean Martin, Rat Pack type group played there back in the 30s and 40s, and uh, uh, all the way to Sheryl Crow played there, I think, a week or so ago, and Bella Fleck is going to have two shows coming up in uh, several weeks. So they have a very uh, eclectic you know, group of people who who play there. And now you're going to have... Uh, that's another thing. Now, the CD's coming out. How can people get it when it comes out? Hmm, well... We're taking orders on the Internet. Now, you can go to glassharp.net. And, of course, you can order it there and find some, some other Internet places to order it from the glassharp.net site. Mm -hmm. And you can also find information about the Kane Park concert there. There's some links that'll link you to Ticketmaster if you want to get tickets through there or take you to the Kane Park website right. and it gives you all the, the info on that. Now the official release date is August 2nd which is the, the day of the concert and uh, we got word from our distributor at Action Music that um, Record Connection here in Youngstown will be carrying the record and I think uh, Longo's Bookstore in Kent uh, the New Beginning in Warren and uh, Spin More Records in Kent are just a couple of the places that will be having it. I'm sure Borders will be carrying it also. So we hope to have it in the stores by this weekend. If not, it'll be there the first of, uh, first of the week. Well, I'll tell you, like I said, uh, I've had it for a while and I like it. Phil, what's your favorite cutoff of it? No, that's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask an easy one. I... <laughs> Your all-time favorite after listening to it? Well, um, I think the one that the one I, I really enjoy listening to is just because it's the uh, it's the strangest on the album. It's called "Voice of God Call Out," and it's nine minutes long, and it's I, I, it takes me back to the literally takes me back to 1970 is when I wrote the song. So, and uh, I, I think that's interesting, and I really like "Once a Day Dream" a lot. I like the mandolin in that, and uh, I like the way John sings that song. And and I dig uh, uh, that way. The tune that Daniel wrote, um, 
It reminds me of whatever life demands. Those, those three really stand out to me. Well, it's definitely a lot of people, like I said, are waiting for this to come out. Why don't we play a cut for it, yeah. from it? Time to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. Time to play. Now, I know the cut number, and I keep forgetting the name, and I don't have it in front of me. Okay, it's track 16, right? Track 16. Yeah, and it's, it's a song written by Phil and his son Ian, and it's yeah. called Weather Boy. This is my favorite, Phil, i got to tell you. Oh, that's great. Ian was 10 years old when he penned the lyrics to that. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, now he's 16, and uh, he's very unaffected by the idea that we got a song together on this album. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. What a great honor. Yeah, he really likes the idea. It doesn't seem to phase him a whole lot, though. <laughs> but, I, but when it's, after it sells uh, 500,000 copies, he'll be very impressed. I <laughs> bet he will. Go. <laughs> well, let's play it right now. Harp on Y103 from their latest that's going to be released coming up uh, this Saturday, as a matter of fact. That's right. right. Hourglass. And, of course, Dan and John's in the studio. Phil's on the phone. Uh, Phil's in Nashville. Uh, so how would this song uh, come about? Well, you know, you were saying, Smoke, that was one of your favorite tunes. And, and that is one of my, that's my favorite tune now for the last three weeks because there's so many songs on this record that oh. evolved. But that that one's was a lot of fun and to play. And um, I don't know, it just has got got the energy that i like you know and i think we recorded that track that particular track in, in phil's home studio and um it was like a it was a live take yeah. basically yeah it was it was it was done uh just in my basement with the set of drums we have down there and uh right and um uh, it was it was fun to do john just played his played his little um can off <laughs> <laughs> John's been known to do that once or twice. Yeah. Well, I don't have much of a can, so it's always being played off. That's right. That's why. But I tell you, that that is one of my favorites off that. 
and I've listened to it. I, I told this story to everybody except you, Phil. And once I, I got the CD from John, I was playing it in the truck, and I played that song over and over and over and over. It's one of those songs I just love. Yeah, it's it's fun because it's like a single, you know, and it doesn't have any lead guitar parts in it. it just it's just like the boys got together, literally, the eighteen year olds got together and started <laughs> jamming in the basement or in the in the garage. It's like a real garage band sound. Yeah. Uh, what else about that song? Um, we didn't know where to place it in the in the actual sequence of the album because it's it's sort of different from everything else. It's the roughest. We thought it'd make a great bonus track, almost like an afterthought. Well, it's a good thing that you put it at 16, because if it would have been at number one, I don't know if I would have heard the rest of the CD. For, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a long time before I would have heard the other. Well, good, good. Glad you like it that much. Oh, I really do. And that's uh, I, I've told John that before. I told Dan uh, when I talked to him. And it's, uh, you know, everybody's got favorites. That's, that's definitely one of them. Oh, good. But, uh, again, the CD is going to be released. Uh, that's coming up on August 2nd. And uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, in, in a few minutes, where they can get it again, too. I mean, Good. online and so forth. And uh, Kane Park, that's, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's like it's been around for so long, but it's like a best-kept secret, I guess. Yeah, it really is. In fact, the best thing to do is, if you're interested, is to check out glassharp.net. We have all the... Uh, directions and links to Kane Park, and it shows you all the. You'll see the park, and you'll see the whole facility, and uh, they have bike paths, walking paths, and tennis courts, and, and right in the middle of this very uh, semi-urban uh, you know, area on the east side of Cleveland, and uh, you, you would never know that it was it was there and it existed, and it's, it's just a killer place to see a, a concert. So, and then, you know, hopefully we have to, uh, we have to think about coming back to Y-Town here and yeah. setting up a show maybe in the fall. That would be, uh, not a good idea. That would probably be a yeah. great idea. Yeah, I think we, <laughs> we, it's time to come back and shake the rafters with some new, new music. Uh, you know, I, we're talking about a new CD and I, I'm sitting here and, and my mind just flashed back. It wasn't too long ago when, uh, Dan and John were in the studio and I said, why don't you guys think about getting together and getting Phil and playing Youngstown? And out of that came... That was the genesis of the... Of strings Attached what CD. We have, what you have sitting in your hand now well, is... Well, the reason I say that, because I was just going to say, how long has it been since you've had a CD coming out? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought... <laughs> Deja vu, yeah. <laughs> but it was funny, and I, you know, it, it's just, it's funny how things transpire. Well, well what, you know... Once again, you know, we all want to thank, you know, you and, and the folks here at Y103 because it really helped support us get going, especially in 2000 when we were doing the Powers Auditorium thing with the Symphony Orchestra. Right. It was really good to have that foundation with you guys, you know, kind of kicking us in the butt a little bit to get this <laughs> stuff done. And yeah. But the the fall thing is a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it it's time to do that, and and it really is exciting for us. I mean, it's it's fun to do live shows. It's fun to to get together, and now it, it's a little more purposeful when you put a, a an album together and you're able to to go back in that whole creative process. You're not just you know doing songs that you like doing together, but you've been doing together. To do something new and fresh like this is. And, and to see the response that people are, are giving it, not only the old fans, but new fans that, you know, are coming on board. And there's a lot of buzz, and, uh, you know, all around, you know. You know, if folks want to preview the um, <clears throat> some more tracks from the record, of course, you can go to glassarp.net, and there'll be a whole preview page there with uh, lyrics and, and also some MP3 downloads. So we'll give you some, some free music there to check it out. Yeah, and can, Phil, I know you love coming back to the area, too. Oh, yeah. It's always great to see family and friends and be in my hometown. Hey, and, Phil, uh, remember, remember yeah. the record Rendezvous, Phil? Oh, yeah. When yeah, we, that we, was uh, Squires. When, when we used to go down and listen to the records before we used to buy them? Uh-huh. Oh, little, Rendezvous Record Store. Yeah, the, in those booths. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do remember that. Wow. Those crazy old... Uh, uh, the, those those uh, very mechanical looking, funny looking turntables. I remember. Yeah, and then have like plastic headphones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like remember the little earpiece you'd put up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, oh. <laughs> so now we have you, that. We have that on the web. You can go up on on glassharp.net and hit the sample button on any of the any of the tracks, and you can oh. 
All you can right. hear pretty much uh, a very good portion of the song and decide if you like it. Say, I must check that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good that they let you know, Phil. <laughs> yeah. When you first mentioned Rendezvous, the first thing, do you remember a record Rendezvous? Well, back in 1966 when I was in the Squires with Bob Flamish, Al Fraino, and Jim Wells. Yeah. We, we cut a record called Rendezvous. It was my first instrumental. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, and we had an acetate of it, you know. It was never pressed. <laughs> well, I wish but I could hear that again. Batmobile got pressed in 1960, late 66. Yeah. But, uh, gee, just thinking, I was coming up with those corny instrumentals back then, and <laughs> the Beatles were doing Sgt. Peppers at the same time. So <laughs> I, I would say they were light years. Eh? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, we were just kids, weren't we? Yeah. I think we still are. I was, I was going to say, we still are. In the heart, we're still kids. Well, don't go hey, anywhere. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Phil. What were you going to say? I was going to say, there's another, uh, I think, good radio-friendly song on that album called You Whisper Something you got to get to sometime. Oh, yeah. That's a cool song. Well, I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah. But don't go anywhere, and we'll be right. back with Glass Harp on Y103. Classic Rock, Y103. It's going to be planned. Why 103? <laughs> I, I thought it was a commercial not ending, and it's John. In the studio, of course, uh, Daniel Pecchio, John Safar, and on the phone from Nashville, Phil Keggy, Glass Harp, and uh, we're talking about the new CD and everything. And Phil, what song, uh, I want to play another cut off of it, because I'm sure a lot of people want to hear some of it. Now, what cut were you talking about that you would, uh, that uh, you liked, I'm, the one uh, you thought was radio friendly? Uh track three it's a uh, it's a uh, you whisper something okay yeah well, and uh i think everyone plays just great on it and it, it sounds really up and really happy so positive well let's play that i'm sure people want to hear uh, some of the cuts from it so let's play that right now maybe you better ask daniel and john what songs they might want to listen to <laughs> <laughs> i'm giving everyone a choice I like to okay
103 Classic Rock. Glass Harp from their new CD, which is coming out August 2nd, which is Saturday. That's it. Yeah. Saturday, and Phil's on the phone from Nashville, and of course, John and uh, Dan are in here in the studio. And uh, you're playing Kane Park this coming uh, Saturday in Cleveland, and uh, it starts at 8 o'clock. That's right. And again, if they want to find out directions to it, and how about tickets? What's. Uh, Tickets through uh, the traditional ticket, whatever it's ticket called. Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster, Master, right. And um, there the are three tiers of pricing. There's the lawn seats, then the middle seats, and then the up-closer seats. The up-closer on the stage seats. Yeah. The, ones where <laughs> the ones where we spit on you by accident. <laughs> yeah. The real close seats. Yeah. If, if you go to glassharp.net, there's a lot of links for yeah. ticket information, the venue. Seat and charts, the whole deal. They have everything. They're, they're very well. They've got a great web uh, site, and they're very helpful uh, for directions and places to go, places to stay, the whole deal. They, they do this. They're very professional. See, on the very August 2nd, I would be there, but John knows. It's going to be a special day. It's a special day. Right, it's your birthday. Well, actually, my birthday was uh, the twentieth of this month, but this was the first open date I had to do anything. <laughs> so uh, it's we were supposed be... to be there to play with you. Yes, yeah. you were. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely going to be there. We're going to be there next year. Ed, and we it would book a job. It, it would be great if Phil would come in too. Oh, we'll, we'll fly him in. Phil, are you listening? Yeah, what day is that? <laughs> <laughs> you can take the bus in. He's getting his PDA it's, out right now. I'm working it. It's in July. It's July 20th, my actual birthday. So this coming year, it'll be on a Monday, but we'd do it on a weekend, whatever weekend. Oh, Monday uh, might be good. What well, I am, play, I, I, am, I am playing in town here. I'm actually playing at our church on, on that Sunday. No, that's August. I don't know. I'll have to look at my phone <laughs> later. Well, it's a whole year from now. Yeah, it's a year. you got a year. So I'm sure. Oh, we... oh, no, no worries. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, because we're past that. We're we're like right now. We're at the 28th, aren't we? Right. Okay, I'm so, with you. I'm tracking with you. Okay, Phil, you got an entire year to go. We're on oh, the air good, good. to plan on this. Good. But anyway, that's why I'm going to miss the Kane Park performance. Okay. But like we were talking about, there's still fall. Hey, if you were going to be there, we'd have you come up and play a tune. Dan would let you play bass. He won't let me play his bass. He won't let you play his bass, huh? I've got two of them now. You can play one. You have your choice. Well, you know which one I'm going to play. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's one that's one my son said I should be playing. Because, you know, I'm still a little upset because you turned all the knobs on my bass amp went (laughs) to zero. (laughs) It took me only three days to figure it out. When I call, I say, is this the other bass player from Youngstown? <laughs> when I call here now. Yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, uh, what was it, about a year ago you did that to me. Yeah. I heard you t- stole my drummer. That's it. <laughs> I was coming down here with some of the boys. That's right. I started getting nervous. So you'll have the CD. It's going to be out this coming. Uh, what's the name? We never even mentioned the name of the CD. The name of the CD is Hourglass. Yeah. Hourglass. By Glass Harp. So after, by this weekend, if your favorite record shop doesn't have it, Ask for it, and they'll get it. Fact, Ask for it by name. Here's some places it's going to be around town here probably shortly. Uh, the Record Connection. And, uh, Dan, can you read that? No, I probably, probably have not, because I wrote it. <laughs> uh, we've got Alongo's Bookstore in Kent, uh, New New Beginning in Warren, and uh, Spinmore Records. And I know that Borders always carries their stuff, too. They'll be getting them soon. So they, they'll be arriving in Ohio, like, Wednesday. We'll try to get them to the distributors, and if they can get them to the stores by the weekend, they'll do that. If not, they'll be in the stores certainly by Monday. All right. Let's play another cut. What uh, cut are we going to listen to now? What's, What's in your, in your heart? heart? What's in your heart? Yeah. This is a little slide guitar playing by Phil. We do a lot of different stuff on this album. Okay. You know, I left my slide bottle at home that day, and I used the, the end of a mic cable. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I got the idea, so it would look silly. I'm glad it wasn't on video. Okay. But uh, what's Phil doing with that mic cable? <laughs> you know the, the, the little cannon plug at the end? Yeah, yeah the big yeah. open bill case. The steel <laughs> part. All right, like, let's listen to part of it right now.
103. I just stepped on your tongue. That's all right. You can do that. <laughs> Glass Harp from their newest CD. It's not even out yet. Not at least till Saturday. <laughs> no. So, I and what a great... You wanted me to turn it down during that jam. It was like, no way. It's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> no, I enjoy it. When you're in a car and you're driving, man, you... You wish your volume could go up to 11. That's true. That is true. I uh, There's so many songs on here I like. It's just, uh, I think uh, people are going to really get into this. Cool. Well, there's a lot for them to get into. Yeah. And so, like, after they go through a couple of songs that they like, they'll, they'll be exploring and finding other things on there because it's 16 songs. It's, uh, there's a lot of music on it. It's a full, yeah, you can bring it up. You know, have some for lunch, some for breakfast, some for dinner. <laughs> the breakfast, lunch, and dinner CD. Mm -hmm. Hourglass. The musical stew. That's it. But uh, I, go ahead, Phil. Although I think it's fun to put it on random play and, and not ever listen to the same sequence again. You know? yeah. yeah. That's just neat about having the, the CD format. You just punch a know, button. Yeah, yeah and then... Let it, play, let, let it play shuffle, and there you go. <laughs> okay, well, we got time for one more. What's your... The Everlasting Light? This would be Everlasting Light, yeah. yeah. this is a John song. And, yeah, that'd uh, be great. It's got some good glass harp harmonies. I think it's track four. Was that right, Phil? Track four, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah. agree? Track yeah. four? Go for it. Everlasting Light. Okay, from the new Hourglass CD. <laughs> The new CD, which is coming out this week, and in the studio, Daniel Pecchio, John Safer, and on the phone from Nashville is Phil Keggy. And Phil, you probably had the worst of this entire 
time because you're on a cell phone. And, yeah, you're, I am. and you're like hanging on there, and there's nothing worse than being on the phone. Half, see, next time you're going to have to come in the studio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be a lot easier going through security and <laughs> flying right. on a plane and taking yeah. a drive from Cleveland. Actually, you know, this is better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, and, and we're glad that you could spend the time. Well, and it, thanks. We, we mean, appreciate you, Smoking Bill, in a big way. Well, thank, thank you, you very for much. Our music over the air. Well, it's great music, always has been. I'm I'm glad you guys got back together after how many years, and uh, you know, out of that came, uh, of course, the strings attached double CD, and which are many many people are enjoying, and now a new one coming out of that, uh, which is uh, you know I think is just uh, phenomenal. Yeah, you know, strings attached went gold. Did you hear about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I missed that part. Yeah, my copy. I got so I got a paint set out. Spray <laughs> painted it gold. It looks really nice on the wall. <laughs> well, that's good. Just kidding. But uh, again, it's coming out this um, this Saturday, and you guys are playing Kane Park in Cleveland. If you want tickets, Ticketmaster, you can go to ticket, Ticketmaster dot com or glassharp uh, dot net. Right. And. Uh, Plus, you're gonna the CD is gonna be. You want to mention that one more time? Yeah, we'll be uh, the CD will be released uh, at the concert August second, and uh, you can go to glassharp.net and there's a whole CD preview page for the Hourglass CD, and you can download some MP3s, lyrics, and you know, kind of take a look at it and see what you think. It is great. Take it for a test drive. Yeah. I have. <laughs> many, many times. Phil, I want to thank you for uh, talking for this hour, which it's been probably an inconvenience for you. Oh, it's been great talking to you, honestly, and no problem. No inconvenience. Uh, we just appreciate it that uh, playing our songs, and, and I look forward to seeing all the folks who make it up to Cleveland. And, uh, and I'd like to say, of course, hello to my family, Carl and Bill and all their kids and everybody there in the Youngstown area. I love you all. God bless you. Well, Thanks. it's great, and we can't wait to see you, Phil. Thanks. And I want to thank Dan Pecchio and John Safair, as always. Thank you, Smoke, as always. Yeah. And, uh, You're you know, I'm sorry I can't make it on Saturday, but uh, we'll be talking. And hey, we'll save you a piece of cake. Do that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>